Uh, a couple of things. On my my Dr. Dumped Me video, I hope you understand that I'm not saying that I'm Einstein, and I hope you understand that I don't think that I am anyone that extraordinary or anything like that. I hope you understand that it's just an analogy to say that Let's say you've got a juggler that goes into the doctor who has a cold. You know, it wouldn't make any sense for the doctor to say, well, I can't juggle, so I can't fix your cold. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so it's, it's nothing more than that. Please don't go ballistic in the comments calling me a narcissist or some shit like that. Um, just learn, you know, be, take an analogy, please. Sorry to be antagonistic. Makes me feel better to do this somehow with my TD. It's weird. Hey, I live with, with, a, with a weird disorder, and it makes me look like a freak, and maybe I am a freak. There you go. What's the other thing? Oh, yeah, the other thing is, you know, with this whole my doctor dumped me thing, like, it's not what I wanted, but it feels like such a release. And how often is that the case in our lives, you know, or in my life? I'll just speak for my life. It's happened so many times when... You know, let's talk, I mean, any other, any, any kind of breakup, actually, um, and, and all kinds of events. But, I mean, I remember being the first job, and I've only been fired twice, I think, but, like, the first job I was ever fired from. So it was a pretty major experience for me. I had quit a lot of jobs and let them know that they could fuck me, but they had never let me know that I could fuck them. And I got fired from this job for a... Uh, a really bogus reason and I was walking with my books in my little box out to my little Honda in the driveway and I was thinking like this really sucks because <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get another job in this town and as like much as that job wasn't good for me I was just kind of coasting along with something that wasn't good for me and and that wasn't right. You know, I shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. I should have been out, like, as as uh, Tyler Durden says in Fight Club. Like, I should have been looking for a better job. I should have been whatever, you know, like, like, or in the girlfriend case. I mean, like, if you're, if you're, if I'm in a relationship, and I've never done this, but, like, if I was in a relationship where it was just kind of lukewarm and, you know, I was just, like, coasting along, like, well, I'm glad I have a girlfriend because I need a girlfriend. I got to have somebody on my arm, you know. I'm not that kind of person, but um, got to have somebody on my arm. Like, that would be wrong, you know. That would be wrong. And, and to break up would be right. And um, and I think sometimes, I'll just speak for myself, I can feel things coming. And and it's a disruptive feeling. Uh, and in the case of this, um, in the case of this doctor breakup, I think that that's, like, part of why this week has been so... Um, so disrupted is because I think we at this house could somehow magically feel that coming, you know, and I think now that it's happened, uh, I think for me, a lot of the stress has been lifted. I think that we had a premonition, you know, even I'll use that word, but like, or some sense, you know, we could feel the outward ripples of this weather effect that was going to culminate in my psychiatrist saying I'm not going to see you anymore. And now that that's happened, um, things are set right again. You know, I mean, it was something that they felt wasn't working and maybe just wasn't working. Maybe I uh, knew that too. Maybe I didn't. But at least they felt it. And I could feel that they felt it. And now that it's done, things are set right and things are less disrupted.